Why, hello, hello. Welcome back to another episode of The Truth Is. Hello there. I'm your sexy host, Confident Peyton 3.0. The EDM and drum step vocalist, Zombie Supreme. But today, we are not talking about music. We are not talking about EDM, even though... The dubstep, the drum step is playing in the background. That's the alarm for uh, my little vegetables. So give me just a moment while you hear the music play. Turn it up. For this moment while I take my vegetables real quick. Oh Sorry about that. For this moment while I take my vegetables real quick for you, I want you to look at this picture and tell me what do you see? Sounds so nice, don't it? Hmm. All right. I'll tell you what you see. Hardworking, overworked nurses. That's what you see in this picture, okay? Now, disclaimer, what I'm about to talk about today will be another controversial one, but this is called The Truth Is. So, and as a disclaimer, I cannot speak for other medical systems in the world. So if you're in the UK, if you're in China, if you're in, I don't know, Bronislavia, Brazil, wherever you're watching this from, I cannot speak for your medical system because I know there's a lot better medical systems out there. I've done my study and my research um, that actually cares and help the patient that is paying money and insurance and all that. Then in medical systems like the one that we have in America, which is a setup, okay? When people cannot live because they have... I think it's like type 2 diabetes, which is huge in a country like this with number of sugar and cars and whatever, and the way things are set up and marketed. Um, when people have to die because they can't get, they can't afford their insulin, Houston, we have a motherfucking problem. Excuse me, still drinking. This stuff gets sucked to the side and get a bottle. But anyway, this episode is called How the American System, the American Medical System is out. And systems like it, because the UK might just be like it too. I don't know. But I'm speaking for America, because that's where I'm at. That's what I know. Okay? So, the American Medical System and medical systems like it around the world are out to get your money and exterminate you. Okay, let's talk about it. For those of us in America or other countries that may be like America's medical system, in the comment section, I want you to tell me are you afraid to go to the hospital and why? Have you seen your family members or friends get worse and die in the hospital? 
Do you feel they would have been better off if they were not in the hospital? Have you yourself gotten worse being in the hospital yourself? And now you're definitely afraid of going back. Please give me a comment in the comment section. Let's talk and have a conversation, honey. Okay. So let me tell you something. First of all, the food in most of these hospitals is counterintuitive to a sick patient. I had got coronavirus last year, a horrible case of it, in August of 2021. And for most of my life, I've never really truly been in a hospital ever like that. I've been lucky. I've lived plenty of years on this planet and uh, I never ended up in a hospital like that. There are those darn grass hopping motherfuckers. Sorry about that, y'all. They just kept, or is that a grasshopper? That's, a, that's one of the grasshoppers. I know Las Vegas has some bugs, honey, and they come in seasons. Okay? Anyway. As I was saying. Me and this bug about the fight. Anyway, so. What was I saying? I'm sorry, I lost my place. Anyway. Oh yeah, I had coronavirus. I had to go to the hospital because this thing was trying to take me out and my immune system was working overtime, honey. And remember, your immune system can heal you or kill you, honey. And my immune system was freaking out. It was it was pulling out all the artillery on that hoe, honey, and taking making me feel like hell in the process. Okay? Because if you didn't know, what your immune system tends to do is when there there is an invasion in, the, in it, it'll turn up the heat, the alarms will sound, it'll turn the heat all the way up, which people think that the, that they, that the fever is from the virus or the invader in there, but that's not the truth. The, the truth is, is that the immune system is the one turning up the heat and the fever. Why is it doing that to you? Because it's trying to make it as uncomfortable as possible for the invader in there, okay? So that it's easier to catch and kill. Yes, honey, I'm a complete nerd and I'm in love with that. So, it turns all the way up, honey. Sometimes in 100 degrees Fahrenheit, honey, and you just feel like hell. As a conscious, you just have to deal with this shit because you don't get to stay in it. You got to hope that you make it through. Okay? So, Miss Corona was in there and she was boxing, honey. She was going for the lungs. She was going for everything. Because she, she was going for my brain, honey. Okay? She was trying to make me blind. She she took my motor skills away. And I could barely walk. Honey, I was struggling like I was, like I was hit by a bus, bitch. Mm. Okay? Worst time. I, one, of my, one of the worst times in my life. There's another time that, that was really, really bad for me. But I don't want to talk about that. That's, I want to keep that personal to myself right now. We won't talk about that on this show. But. Mm -mm, that was good too. Eat your greens, folks, or drink them or to find some solution. Anyway. Anyway. So. When I was in a hospital, first of all, like I said, the food they serve is counterintuitive to the sick patient. They're serving like this school cafeteria type of food shit. They got carbs and sugar all up in these food they be trying to serve you, bitch. Really eat. Make it work. Make it sick. Make it stand in more. Spend more of your money and your insurance that don't even cover the damn business in the medical care. They do this shit on purpose. They ain't got no great food in these motherfucking hospitals. Not in America. They got the treat bullshit they bring in. It's like, is this the kind of food that we're supposed to be eating? As sick patients. But they do this shit on purpose because they're trying to keep you in there as long as possible to get that money, 
to do to do whatever you want to do to you. And you get as a result, most of you get worse. Tell me if I'm lying. Come on. <laughs> So I demanded after five or six days in there, I demanded that I must leave. I got to get back to life. I got all, I didn't give a damn. I said, come on, Corona. I said, I said, okay, I got my stuff in here. Y'all did a little something for me, but honey, I can't be in here like this anymore. I won't have to deal with Corona. After, I won't have to deal with this Corona myself after this. I got to go. Can I please leave? Can I please go? You know, can I get up? Can I get the hell up out of here? Can't beg the doctor. Can I get the fuck out of here, please? Let me get out of here. I'm getting worse. I can be here to make any bowel movements. Okay. So finally on the seventh day on late Labor Day or something in September, I was able to leave. Wanted to feel my best, but I still barely moved my legs. Corona was still in their boxing, honey. So my music was still in there fighting for life. But somehow a, 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 a queen has made it through. Okay. Now. And we want to talk about that was just the stuff they did in there. Oh no. Stuff that just was not right. Now, these nurses that you see in the picture, they're not to blame. Mm -mm. These nurses that you see in the picture here, most of them enter the medical system not knowing what's truly going on in the medical system of this country. They just want to be nurses. They want to take care of people. They're supposedly passionate about it, some of them. But they have, most of a lot of these nurses do not have any idea of the medical system that they interest themselves in. And that really is just a capitalist game. It has nothing to do with healing anybody. And when they send you away from the hospital, finally, after how many days or months, they want to make sure that you stay on the prescription too. So that money can keep rolling in. Tell me if I'm lying. They want to perform surgery on you right now. Okay, oh, you know what? Time to perform surgery right now, right now. Okay. And a lot of times, you may not know this. The system, not the nurses, even maybe even the doctors that are working, they're just a part of the system. They're not really conscious. Some of them are conscious about, of it and they still decide to work in it. But a lot of them are not. You're just simply taught to do what school tells them to do. That's it. We're working on the page. Okay. The medical system itself, the way it's set up, it's meant to take as much money as possible from you, the in the insurance company on the free market, and to exterminate you. But they want it, they want to keep you on the pill for as long as they can. They want to keep you in the hospital for as long as they want to, they want to extract from you as much as possible before you die. I'm 
I'm going to end it right there. You better find a way if you live in this country to heal yourself or don't get in any major accidents. Especially if you don't have any medical insurance at all, which is a lot of Americans. Because they just don't make enough and the way the corporate systems are set up. If you're a working part-time job, you don't qualify for benefits. My name has been Peyton 3.0. Thank you for tuning in to the end. If you like this video, please hit the likes button, honey. Share with your friends because you know they're going to, your family, everybody you know, because you know they're going to need it. And leave comments in the comment section. Let's discuss this. At the end, I'm going to put my social medias. But as a disclaimer, these social medias are really only for my electronic dance music community. Because that is my main brand. This is a side project that I decided to start. Because I have a lot of things to say. Besides just the music. A lot of knowledge to give. A lot to bring to the table. In this capitalist economy that we find ourselves in. Everything is about the capital and the money. And the people that are passionate are the ones most used by the capitalist system. They may not be directly responsible for the negative things that happen, but they are the cog in the machine that a lot of times don't even know that they're being used. Like the music artist on the label. Okay, anyway. So for my EDM electronic fans, these social medias are for you, but for the ones that are of the general audience, there are two for you. This channel right here, you know what to do. I ain't gotta repeat myself about this. And sessionslive.com, baby. What is sessionslive.com? You may ask if you're brand new and not one of my loyal Zombatrons or a part of the EDM fam. Well, if you like singing, you know, if you like singing, good singing, whatever. If you like some, this music in general, it's a live platform, like a Facebook Live, whatever, all the live platforms, but it's just for musicians only. And it's like a Twitch for those of you who are in the electronic dance music community. It's like a Twitch, okay? But it's for musicians, okay? You get an avatar, a screen name. It's like you would have be on YouTube or any other platform. You, could, you put your best email in and it's free to sign up. Um, you can go request your favorite song for me to do. I'll do my originals. We'll build a real community. I'll come up with some questions and some fun things for us to do. Some topics. Kind of like this. Um, I'm very versatile as a person. Got, I have a lot of skills. Okay. So anyway, thank you so much. And I'll see you on the next episode of the truth is and for those of you who are my diehard electronic music fans get on the email list by getting three free unreleased songs that you won't find on any of these platforms for many reasons that i again will not get into okay and the website of mine peyton 30.com will lead you back to the email list okay i need some serious people who are willing to support and uh, you get great gifts basically in return. Let's build the real community, folks. I'm all about the, the right community, not just any community, okay? Thank you and have a great one.